high. Let's learn how to calculate fact size F scale in Smart PLS2. As you know that Smart PLS3 automatically calculates F scale, whereas Smart PLS2 does not automatically calculate it. Here you have to make some calculations. So let's see how we can do this job in Smart PLS2. But before we proceed towards Smart PLS2, let's understand what F scale is and why it's important and uh, how you can calculate it. F scale's effect size measures the contribution of any exogenous variable in a model. If a model is having more than one exogenous variables or an endogenous variables, so you never know which one is having how much contributions. So some may having very small contributions. So if they are having very small contributions, so they don't qualify to be present in the model. So that's why we need to look into F scale effect size. How it's measured? It's measured by omitting a variable, mean exogenous variable, from the model and examining the change in R scale value. If R scale change is big one, so that means effect size is big, means contribution is very big. On the other hand, if omission leads to small change, so that would mean effect size is small, contribution is small. So here is a formula for calculating F scale. So you see here, you calculate R scale by including all exogenous variables. Then you calculate R scale when you exclude one exogenous variable which you want to study. And then divide it by 1 minus R scale. Uh, after including the exogenous variable. So here are some guidelines. If F scale value is 0 0.02 or little high, so then effect size is small. And if it is 0 0.15 or exceeds it, or is less than 0.35, then effect size is medium. But if it exceeds 0.35, then that means effect size is large. Let's take the examples. Here we have three examples. In this case, when we included the exogenous variables, so we got R square point 0.598. And when we included it, we got, sorry, excluded it. So we got uh, F, uh, this R square point 0.525. So when we calculated F scale, so we found it is 0.182. Similarly, in second model, you see here R scale after inclusion it is 0.598, and after exclusion it is 0.588, and effect size it is 0.025. And in model 3, effect size is 0.356. So these could be three different models or these could be three different exogenous variables in the same model. So how to interpret them? So you see here, here effect size is very large. So that means, uh, so it has big contributions. Here in this case, you see, so it's very small, so, that, so the variable exogenous variable has very small contributions, whereas here it is moderate contributions. If you look at this criteria, so you find so it is moderate or medium level, here it is small and here it is large. So here is the interpretation. So now let's proceed towards the smart PLS2, that how to calculate. So here is our model and uh, OP is uh, 
the dependent variable mean endogenous variable and job satisfaction and turnover intention are the exogenous variables. Let's examine that whether Pi has a substantial effect size or not. Right? So first what we do basically we run uh, Pierce algorithm and uh, go to the report and overview here we find R scale is 0.3903 we note it down we go back to the model and remove this variable downward now rerun it and then get the report. In the overview you see R scale has declined to 0.2618. Now let's calculate F scale in Excel. So here is the uh, so you see here, this is R scale if included. So that is 0 0.3903. And uh, here it's F, it's excluded. Then uh, what is R scale? It's 2618. Right. So uh, let's uh, calculate it. So here you see the R scale included. R square included minus R square excluded divided by 1 minus R square included. So R square so this is 0.21. So if you look at the uh, criteria, so that seems it's a medium of it. So, in other words, we can say the turnover intention has a medium effect on uh, OP, so the medium size contribution. Thanks for watching.